This video explains the basics of using the touchscreen remote to play DVDs and CDs in the Recital Hall AV system. The touchscreen remote is stored in its charging cradle during office hours and in the building monitor locker after the office closes for the day. After retrieving the remote, the first step is to turn the system on. To activate the remote, tap the screen. It will prompt you to touch the screen to begin. Touch the screen again to turn the system power on. To play a CD or DVD, Eject the DVD player tray and insert a disc. To play a VHS cassette, load it into the VCR as usual. Both devices should have powered up automatically with the system. However, occasionally that fails to happen. In this case, simply turn the device on manually. Once you have loaded your disc or tape, push the corresponding device's button on the remote control unit. If the remote has gone to sleep, it may ask you to tap the screen to begin once again. If so, tap the screen then push the device's button again. At this point, the touchscreen will change to reveal the transport controls appropriate to the device you have selected. You can control the device you are using with the playback controls on the remote, very similar to your own remote control at home. You can adjust the volume level of the video or music being played using the volume slider on the touchscreen remote. If the image on the projector screen looks squashed or stretched out, try changing the aspect ratio by pressing the button labeled 4x3 or 16x9 to adjust the aspect ratio. You can raise or lower the screen using the appropriate controls on the touchscreen remote. Notice that turning on the system power and selecting a video source will also automatically raise or lower the screen accordingly. When you are done using the system, make sure to retrieve your disc or tape. Turn off the system power using the remote. And finally, return the remote to its charging cradle or the on-duty building monitor.